My name's John Dove and I'm directing Mice and Men. Yes, I do. In fact, half my family is living in America at the moment and um, they've all had banks foreclose on their properties. So they're now kind of in the situation that the main protagonists are in the play. And, and the American Midwest, I think, is in the same kind of situation. The farming communities, they're finding it terribly difficult. There's a phrase in society, which is the best laid plans of mice and men. And um, we've got to honor that. It's got to seem like a theme that is going to work because it's all been worked through. And despite that, one thing goes wrong and the whole thing collapses. But that, I think, is how you've got to take it on. It doesn't mean be fatalist about life, but uh, you can't plan dreams. That's on one very particular level. On all the other levels, it is about the social problem for young people. That there isn't the work, and the freelance market is really tough. So it is like Britain today. You move from place to place, get what you can. And, and it felt very relevant, and they're desperate for property and uh, they haven't quite got the money and then they nearly have and they don't manage. It, it is like a lot of young people today. Shocking. Yeah, cruelty, above all. The cruelty in it, a lot of which is necessary. And I think that's shocking but there's an awful lot of other colours in it as well. I think seeing people strive just to get a plot of land and a house is uplifting. And seeing how they fail is challenging because it affects everybody who's trying to do that today. Um, I think in a way, you know, if you're a student and you've got a 27,000 quid debt, the minute you leave, you're probably thinking much the same way as George and Lenny. You're starting in the wrong place. And we haven't come up with an answer. So shocking in a way, but identifiable. Therefore, it won't come as a shock, I suspect.